I'm Michaela Renava for Nesson.com. Here at the Mechanical Engineering Lab at UMass Lowell, where Professor David Willis took the time to explain the ideal gas law. The Patriots claim that the ideal gas law can explain for the natural loss of pressure in the footballs. Is this the case or not? So this is what everything revolves around in this report. Um, so it's one of those challenging things without all the data. Um, so without that initial pressure measurement, without knowing which gauge was used initially, um, there is some question as to what the initial pressure was set at in the footballs. Um, the ideal gas law is going to work on that day. It works every day. Um, and basically what that means is that when you bring the football out to a cooler place, the air in the football becomes less excited and actually decreases in pressure. And as a result, the pressure goes down inside the football. The football's not losing any air. It's got the same amount of air in it, it's just lost pressure. As you bring that football back in, it's going to rise back in pressure. And this is just one of those fundamental laws of science that happens. Um, in the case of the Patriots claims, the pressure change is definitely there. The question that everybody's asking is, is there enough pressure change accounted for by the ideal gas law? So does the ideal gas law explain everything? And that's essentially what the Wells report was looking at too, was do you get all of the pressure change that the Patriots balls experience due to just weather, or due to just field conditions, or due to just preparation of the ball? And one of the conclusions that they came up with was it's more probable than not that there was additional factors in there. So you couldn't explain everything.